So today, Mom is taking Granny to an appointment, which means that I have been left in charge. <laughs> That's a scary thought, right? And it gets some supplies for building a set of stairs. Dad is going to build some stairs uh, up the bank to some of the raised beds where it will be easier to get up there. Bye, Katie and Olive. We're also going to get some plumbing supplies for Granny's house. Her house is just old and it just needs some touch up on the plumbing, so we're going to do that as well. We're actually going to go to a family owned local building supply store, and it's one that is owned by some really good friends of ours. Francis and Hazel were really good friends with my grandparents, so Mama's parents. Uh, and then all their kids were friends with Mom and her brothers. And then Katie and I are actually really good friends with their kids. So, very generational. We really like to support local business if we can. And Murphy Building Supply is a place that Dad got his building supplies from for many years when he built houses. Yeah, I used them for years and years getting lumber from them just because it was a small business and uh, we knew them of course and they're really really good people uh, we like to support those kind of people as opposed to the, the big chain stores so tell us a little bit more about these stairs you're going to build what gave you the idea and kind of what's your plan for building them well <laughs> what gave me the idea is they're needed pretty badly because it's a little bit a little bit hard to get up and down the bank. Once you get up there, it's not too bad, but coming down, if you go up there and pick stuff and you come down, it's kind of slippery and you don't want to fall. But, uh, it's just going to be a set of like landscape steps out of six by sixes. Uh, I'm going to dig them into the bank and get us up to the level of the beds. And then at that point, between the beds, out the bank each direction, I'm just going to kind of level it out with a matic and a shovel and probably put uh, paving stones in there to, to step on as we go, you know, kind of down an elevation down the bank between the beds or the other direction, kind of up the bank. Make it a little bit easier to get along in between them. That way you're not tripping on the rocks and the bushes and the stubs that's growing up in there. That way it'll make it a little bit easier to, to walk, especially carrying buckets of whatever we've picked, you know. Maybe we can get that done in the next few days, I hope, or get started on it anyway. Yeah. Fall is kind of just barely beginning to start here. We're starting to see just a little bit of some of the leaves kind of dying off and turning. It's still pretty green right now, but usually when the leaves kind of pop, it happens overnight here. When I was coming through here this morning, right over here to our left, I seen a big hawk. When I was on my way to mom and dad's this morning. So that was cool. Of course, I love seeing hogs. You can see up there just a little bit of leaves turning. And before the new road was built, what we call the new road, this was pretty much the main way that we took to come to town. So I like coming this way every once in a while. Feels kind of strange coming this way at 9.30 in the morning. Because I used to come this way to work way before daylight, kind of had to be somewhere on time, kind of, you know, a little bit of stress involved because he's going to work. Now I'm not. It's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. We like that you're retired. Yeah, I do too. This is probably one of the curviest roads around here that we've got. You can see this is just a complete switchback. But like I said before, the road that we typically take now was there. This is the road we always took. It's very curvy. I usually hated to ride this road because as a kid it always made me sick.
We actually come to Tractor Supply first because we've got some chicken supplies that we need to get. And Dad was just saying that usually when he come in here he had to rush because sometimes he would meet us here when he still worked at the county and now he said he's got plenty of time to walk around and look if he wants to. Yeah. I love all the pumpkins. Of course, that's a huge sign of fall coming. And the mums, those are really pretty too. I like these pumpkins but I don't think they're as pretty as the ones that mama grows. What are you looking for? I don't know, I'm just looking. Nothing in particular. Enjoying your retirement. Yeah. Time to come and have fun at tractor supply. Dad's looking for wood handled axes. There's one, but it's just a two and a quarter. Is that too small for what you're looking for? Two and a quarter pound? Well, it's a little small. Halfway decent wood grain, huh? What do you look for when you look at the grain? I like it straight up and down. This is acceptable because it's over steeper than a 45. If it gets 45 or less, it's too easy to break. Hmm. Hard to believe that they've already got Christmas decorations out when it's not even been Halloween or Thanksgiving yet. I gotta say though, that's pretty cute right there. Letters to Santa. Look at the little hen there, mailing her letter to Santa. Getting some chicken feed? Yeah. Gonna put it back here toward the back so that when we put our lumber in there, it'll be under it and it won't tear the bags. If it stays there, till we get to where we're going. Yeah. It may slide up. Do you need six of them? Yeah, need six of them. I need one four by four eight. And I need a two by twelve by twelve if you got that. I can remember coming back here as a little girl several times when you and Pap were getting a load of lumber. Yeah. I hadn't been back here in Caught ages. bunches of lumber from this place years ago. Yeah. But I ain't in a long time. You can see though right down there in that door that's where the whole store used to be. But then they got big enough to get another storefront. It's always fun going in the storefront because we see lots of people that we know. Dad always likes to look at the fishing stuff. Yeah, we got lots of fishing stuff in there. Yeah. Now we're in Lowe's to look for some plumbing parts. So it's an inch and a half. Okay. So that will go in the pipe, and I'll need to, a coupling to go on to this to turn it back to PVC. Okay, that's what I need. And I also need an inch and a half plain coupling. Right there, it'll just have to be steel instead of plastic. I don't have to heat the pipe to get it in. Okay. So now we can go back to the PVC stuff. And 
it does. So now I need to figure out the other end of that's gonna have to have a, a 90 on it. Like it's sweeping 90. We got a visitor. He's just walking on through. Get your own stuck. Yeah. About got a darn load. Yeah. So, the same hot dog guy that Katie and I got hot dogs with the other day is here, and Dad wants a hot dog. You ready for hot dog time? Dog time. Oh my gosh, I haven't ate a hot dog. I tried the last little bite of Katie's hot dog the other day, but I haven't had a whole hot dog myself in ages. Well, whose fault is that? <laughs> I know, my, me. I don't really care for hot dogs that much, but the one she had was so good, and the same guy was here, so I was like, why not? Do you like it? Mm-hmm. Pretty good? That is good. Poor mom, she's missing out on the hot dogs. So we're getting out of here. And we're gonna head home. Finally. Finally. <laughs> been to town all day. Been to town all day. This has been pretty productive though. We got what we needed and we got a pretty good hot dog. That was a fantastic hot dog. I ain't yeah. had one like that in a long time. It was good. It was special. Share a hot dog <clears throat> together. Yep. It was very good. Now it's time to go home. So we made it home. We will leave you here. So definitely look out for a future video of building the stairs and we appreciate you coming along. As always, we appreciate you helping us celebrate Appalachia, which includes tons of home projects like this. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> no pressure. Don't break your legs. You don't want a hot dog to be your last meal. You got that right. <laughs> There's three steaks up in there right now and they're cooking. I bet they'll be that be on my last one. Oh! To come into our YouTubes. <laughs> We're getting a thumbnail right now, Mom. Hot dog nation. Is it in the store somewhere? Yeah. They had it here and it just got loose and walked away? Yeah. <laughs> trying to film us getting in. <laughs> yeah. keep no, in. you're fine. You're not messing nothing up. Okay, so I was like, fall's really starting to show. No, it ain't. It's all green. So I didn't really like that. As you can it. see, all the leaves are falling <laughs> and it's getting cold. <laughs> As you can see. What? It's all brown. <laughs> Nothing's really brown at all. Just a little. As you can see, the snow is treacherous. <laughs> a better phrasing would have been, fall is coming. Not fall is really in full swing. <laughs> Oh, man.